Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. Shout out to my guy David for letting me hop on his account to do Galaxy Opal Andrew Bogut gameplay. So if you don't know, guys, Andrew Bogut is really the only guy that if you... I, look, don't open packs, okay? Never open packs. I'm just saying he's the only guy you might want to rip packs. Like, if you rip packs, you better be wanting Andrew Bogut or just like the super packs. That's really it. Otherwise, I mean... You might as well not even touch the packs. But before we break down Andrew Bogut, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing the subscribe button. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. That would be absolutely insane if we could hit that. What are we away? If we could hit that by the start of April, that would be absolutely absurd, man. But looking at Bogey here, 76 three ball, 85 driving dunk. Can handle the ball pretty decent. 96 block, 95 ends here. Great rebounder. 85 speed, 86 lateral quickness. Tendency wise, 95 driving dunk tendency for Bogey. Looking at the defensive tendencies, pretty solid through and through. Badge wise, 16 Hall of Famers, rim protector, chase down, box clamps, heart crusher, intimidator, moving truck, rebound, chase of ties, defender, and worm. As well as brick wall, he's pretty similar to Steven Adams in the badges. His stats are way better than Steven Adams. So I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Also, does have the gold unpluckable, which can't be overlooked, especially if you kind of want to use Bogut as a point center, at least occasionally for like dribble handoffs and stuff like that. Now, the big thing for Bogut, he doesn't have an extremely high three ball, but if you still want to give him range extender, flexible, hot zone hunter, possibly. I don't know what his hot zones look like. He already comes with catch and shoot and corner specialist, so you're not going to need to apply those for Andrew Bogut. So he's a pretty complete player, guys. I'm telling you guys right now, with Dan Tony, as long as he's a good fit, Gets a plus four speed, plus four three ball. He doesn't really need much because he's already going to have a base 83 ball. Looking at Bogey here, we're just going to see how he moves, right? Because obviously he's not going to be your primary ball handler or anything like that. But I will say he is, I mean, his ball handling is good enough that he can make some plays in in, in, the, in a certain situation, right? So if you get him at the top of the key, he can take a few dribbles and at least try to make a play. It's not like he's going to be your primary point center type of player like an Anthony Davis or, or guys like that, Moses Malone. But he can handle it good enough. And that's the thing about uh, Andrew Bogut. He's going to handle it good enough. Now, the one thing I will say about Andrew Bogut is this release is a deal breaker like i remember when i did my did my breakdown of cards the one reason i said i think steven adams has a chance to be better is because of this release like what am i looking at what am i looking at i know andrew Bo bogus not gonna shoot a ton of shots for you i understand it. but this release is despicable i despise this ugly release i can't stand this release and i don't know maybe y'all would like the release i mean maybe I, I can't sit here and say it's unusable right because i mean if you do get the hang of it maybe you can green it's just gross okay if you've ever used mono ginobili that's basically what it is but it's on quick i don't know i hate the release personally but if you can green with it that's all that matters and i'm not gonna sit here and say it's unusable because that wouldn't be right but it's just not great especially knowing andrew bogan doesn't have a high three ball in general i just i don't i don't like the release at all but i think what andrew bogut gives you as far as other stuff on the basketball court can possibly make him a top 15 top 20 center in the game look at him my opponent here he's got luca evan fournier kd martin and yao ming it's gonna be interesting to see yao ming try to defend andrew bogut especially in the pick and roll type setting it's gonna be interesting just to see how bogut moves because i just used steven adams so that's kind of who the defensive comparison is gonna be between right Steven Adams, Andrew Bogut, they're both, I think, going to give you pretty similar things. Come on, man. Come on. Stop trying to cheese. All you're trying to do is cheese right now. That's it. Stop trying to cheese me. Look at Bogut. He's got two blocks already. Playing great defense. Can y'all get me a rebound, please? He has to have Hall of Fame Pogo with how he was moving. He almost has takeover, and it's been one possession. That's terrible, 2K. Please attack Andrew Bogut. You're not moving him. You're not moving Andrew Bogut. Stop playing with my boy. Like, stop playing with Andrew Bogut. Bro. Oh, my goodness. I greened it. That release is ugly, man. It's ugly. But, hey, if I can make it work, I know you guys can too. Because I was, I was down pretty bad as far as that release is concerned. That's fine. Shoot it with Yao, please. That's Yao Ming. He's got like, what, a 73 ball? Go and get it, Big Andrew Bogut. Yes, he has takeover in just over two minutes. Literally got takeover, glass cleaning takeover with only one rebound. That doesn't tell you enough about his full game, then I don't know what does. 
That's good defense. Look at Bogut getting me a stop run. Get it to Bogut. Hey, look at how fast he's moving. Oh my goodness. Andrew Bogut point center over to Kevin Durant for a nice easy green light. Bogut having an incredible start to the game. Oh yeah. Back to Bogut. Chill. Hey, Bogut, why are you making things more difficult than they got to be? Just, just, you know what I'm saying? Dunk the basketball. I don't like this lay-in, bro. Oh, yeah, put it down. Up to Bogut. The thing I like about Bogut compared to his Steven Adams is I can take a couple of dribbles with Bogut and know he's going to do his job. Like, I know he's not going to lose the ball. Stuff like that. Give me another slam on the slip right there. Good pass from Braun. And we've extended the lead to nine points. No way. Not on Bogut. Come on, man. I didn't want him to quit the game. I wanted to look how many blocks Bogut had. It was the first quarter. And I know Andrew Bogut at least had three blocks. It might have been four. I don't know what it was. But Andrew Bogut was making a big impact on both ends of the court. We saw Andrew Bogut kind of put on the show in that first quarter right there. Had like three or four blocks. And that's the thing. If he could get it done on the defensive end, that's what I need. Look at him, my opponent here. He's got downtown Freddie Brown, Jeremy Lin, and Galaxy Opal Kevin Durant. So he's got a pretty solid core right here. Bogey, what are you doing? Thank you. Like, what was Bogey doing that entire possession? I don't know, but a big Hall of Fame brick wall screen set. Freed up Kawhi for an easy Showtime slam. Jeremy Lin on KD. Yeah, I just think, I just think I'd seen enough. Come here. Bro, Bogut, neither Bogut or Steven Adams knows how to pass the ball, bro. I don't know why, but they be, like, throwing it away half the time. That's just Kobe. awful. Like, what are you doing, Andrew Bogut? Like, it's good D. Show me something, Bogut. Yes, sir, show me something. He just absolutely boxed Fred Brown there. Literally, absolutely boxed him, Bogut. Ah, hold up. I ain't even mean to do all that. Bogut, man. You've got to start taking care of the ball. I got to stop handling it with Bogut, though. Like, he just got to pick and roll, man. Like, just create with other dudes. Bogut's not a creator. Come on, Bogut. Your release is despicable. I hate it. But good shot nonetheless there from Andrew Bogut. Yeah, Bogut. Hey, there we go. That's the defense I'm looking for from Bogut right there. Moving and grooving. Bogut, that's an easy showtime dunk for Andrew Bogut, bouncing it to himself. And the thing is, Andrew Bogut with the ball feels decently fast. It's, I wish his ball control was 86, because if it was at, if his ball control was at 86, he would be incredible. Bogut, that's good D. That's great D. Yes, sir, that's a baited shot. No way. Oh, my goodness. The ball went right back to him. That's good, D. No way. It's just like, that's my fault. At the end of the day, I leaked out with Andrew Bogut. It's my fault. Ah, ah, ah. Bro, his release. Like, I, he hit a lightly. Credit to Andrew Bogut. He's got takeover, but I just don't know about his release. Don't even test Bogan on the interior, please. Don't do it. Because it's not going to work for you. That's tough. Oh, yeah. Give him that full Andrew Bogan stare for the rebound. Ah. Dang, quit hacking. Getting hacked. All right, I just got to stop trying to dribble with Bogan. It's not worked out for me so far. And it, oh, my goodness. You just got killed by a screen. You know who's there for the rebound and put back. It's Andrew Bogut. Too easy. Setting a huge brick wall screen. Making his Kevin Durant jump at me. And that's just an easy putback. He turned the ball in. He turned the ball over because Andrew Bogut's got his team so rattled. Come here. Back to KD. Oh, yeah. Set another big body. It's too easy. Oh, my goodness. Look at Bogut. <sighs> Look at Bogut. Look at Bogut. He's just demanding the glass right now. Nobody can out-rebound him. Just putting on a rebounding clinic. Oh my goodness, I just got killed. I just got killed, but yet I'm still playing good defense. That's good D. Get it up to Bogut. Hey, Andrew Bogut. I you missed an 8%. That's my fault. I got to time it better. Come here. Bro, 
I just don't. I don't know, I don't know about Andrew Bogut, but I just, I just don't know about Andrew Bogut as a whole. There's a good steal. Defensively, he's incredible, but offensively, man, I just don't know. He, he struggled finishing at the rim a couple of times. That was kind of my fault, but it's just like he doesn't get OD animations. I, I just don't know yet. Hmm. There's no way. There's no way you took that up knowing Bogut was sitting there. All right, I need a three here. Come on, no better guy for the... You missed, too. And Bogut didn't give me a rebound. I know you're going to be three hunting heavy. Come on. Oh, man. I'm really going to lose to this dude. Where's Bogut at? Can you give me a green? That's fine. All right. One stop, and I'm going to win the game. If I get, to, if I get a stop right here, I, will pro I promise you I'll win the game. I don't get a stop. That is going to wrap it up for the game. Looking at the final box score here, honestly, Bogut played fine. It's The loss isn't Bogut's fault. He just didn't shoot that well. But overall, similar production to Steven Adams. Overall, guys, I think Andrew Bogut is fine. I think he's fine. I would not spend anything over. Quite honestly, guys, I would, for Andrew Bogut, I would honestly, we're... It's weird seeing he's just in an Inferno extra. That's weird to me. But I would not spend anything over 50K for Andrew Bogut. Not even close. Like, I hate Andrew Bogut. And quite honestly, the reason I think he was added into this set. You guys might disagree with me. And let me know down below in the comments. Do you guys disagree with me? But quite honestly, the, the reason he was added into this set is to just make an awful Galaxy Opal added into the Super Packs. I, quite frankly, I think that's exactly what 2K decided to do. Literally, I would rather pull any of these guys 10 times out of 10. But now, when you see the Opal Glow, you're going to see bum Andrew Bogut pop out of there. So they just added him in to make it harder to get the other Galaxy Opals. I firmly believe that. I truly firm, you firmly believe that. We saw the Andrew Bogut's pulled, right? So similar, Luka Doncic, right? He's a 97 overall. I bet there's that many Lukas up. I bet there's that many new Lukas up today. I almost guarantee it. Wait, why is there... Wait, I'm kind of confused, 2K. Why is there only this many Luka Doncic's up? But then you go look at Andrew Bogut, and do you guys see how many Andrew Bogut's are up? Like, it, it got, I'm not fooled, 2K. I'm not fooled. You might be able to fool somebody else, but I'm not the person you can fool. Look at how many Andrew Bogut's are up compared to the rest. He is added to packs for one reason and one, one reason only, and that's to lessen the odds of getting the other open. I'm not fooled. I'm calling 2K out because that is exactly what 2K is doing by this. But hey, it is what it is. Andrew Bogut is fine in 2K, but don't spend anything over 30K for the card. And most definitely, do not open these sewer packs. That is going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.